Ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to the Bayshore Community Center and J.D. MacArthur Arena for tonight's OLA Junior B match between the Owen Sound North Stars and the St. Catharines Athletics. I'm joined here with my co-host Steve McCarthy. Uh, Steve, we're looking forward to the first start here from uh, William Hellier for the Owen Sound North Stars. Yeah, I'm sure uh, he's pretty excited about the opportunity and uh, you know, they've had great goal tonight. I think so far this season, their, their offense has fallen off a little bit in the last couple of games. So hopefully uh, he'll get an opportunity to pick his first win and his first career start. Great, well, we'll go down to the floor for the national anthem. Welcome back to the Bayshore Arena. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, a, a spirited bout here. Both teams coming off of low scoring losses and looking to change the tide. Owen Sound playing their third game in four games. You can see the standings here. Six nations well atop the leaderboard just above the Alora Mohawks. Uh, St. Catharines and Owen Sound neck and neck there at seven and eight. Owen Sound today playing their fifth game, St. Catharines their fourth. Steve, what do you think uh, Owen Sound needs to do here to change the script here? They've got three losses in a row, looking to make an end to that. Well, I think uh, in the last couple of games, they've fallen behind early, allowed a couple of uh, outside shot opportunities that found their way into the net, and uh, sometimes that can be real deflating for a team, especially a young team that's trying to uh, get into the wing column on a regular uh, basis. So. I think a better start is in order, and uh, hopefully that'll that'll put the confidence right in gear, and they can carry on from there. Excellent. Well, we've got uh, Thompson here and Smelly for St. Catharines lining up for the faceoff. And St. Catharines with possession now. St. Catharines up into Owen Sound zone. Looking for an early shot, unable to find a route. Back up top to Jaden Patterson, leading scorer here for St. Catharines. Swinging out front and a long shot. That's going to be deflected high. And Owen Sound is going to be an assessed a penalty here for a high stick. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I think he did a little reaching there and uh, Again, giving it a little too much time and space and waving the stick and uh, graze the helmet and gonna cost him two in the box. Gavin Downs, two minutes there for high sticking. St. Catharines now on the power play. Passing back and forth up high, looking for a low pass. Connects, Patterson now with the ball back up top. No shot lane found and he goes Feifel on the first shot of the game and that is going to beat William Hellier. A similar start here for the Owen Sound North Stars as they had yesterday, but with a different goalie in net. Yeah, again, it's always tough uh, to start the game. Uh, a man down, certainly if you're the goaltender, with not a lot of touches uh, so far in the game, and unfortunately that one just found its way and trickled between the stick and his ankle, but uh, let's hope they can uh, get a little momentum going five on five from here on in. Absolutely. Great patience shown there by Jack Parker, the goal scorer for St. Catharines. Oh, and Sound now here on a breakaway up and over the shoulder. He's going to miss the net there. Number 24, Curtis Arnold with a great run. Yeah, that was a great uh, looking transition. Again, that's something that uh, the team certainly would like to improve upon, and that was a great way to start with it. I'm sure that's going to make 
Coach Cochran very happy to see how they respond. No one sound now here with possession. Slowly up the floor they go. Calder Adams looking for some teammates. Makes a pass and up the floor they are. Tyson Downs. Pass across. Jordan Cochrane unable to find anything. Moran with the shot. Great save there for Mike Nepali. St. Catharines transitioning off the floor here. Trent Meridian here with the ball. Pass across. Patterson looking for a lane. Takes a long shot right into the five hole. Saved easily there by William Hellier. Owen Sound transitioning up. Gavin Downs with the pass. Lewis looking. Slowing it down, sending the ball low. Back up to McMahon. Owen Sound driving in, unable to make contact with the net there. Well, we got a delayed penalty coming against St. Catharines on a high stick. So uh, Owen Sound will get an opportunity to even up the score on the power play. Great run there from Curtis Arnold, muscling his way to the net and excellent work drawing the penalty. Owen Sound can get some more runners out there now. Some fresh legs. Back up to McMahon. Moran sends that down to Downs. Downs with the shot, fakes it over to Moran. Finds a lane off the stick and just out of harm's way. St. Catharines now heading up shorthanded. Clear opening there for Ben Smelly. Steinhaus happy to run the clock low here until they're back to even strength. The pass gone awry there. St. Catharines picks it up. They've got a lane in front of the net, and they're going to score right over the shoulder of William Hellier. A slow play there, killing time. All of a sudden, one player gets lost in behind everyone, and the yeah. ball ends up in the back of the net. They certainly want to make sure they're locking off there. They, a lackadaisical effort going towards the ball carrier, and uh, too much time and space once again. Even though it was a one-on-two situation, St. Catharines really had... Went to the net without much uh, resistance and resulted in the score. Cone Sound looking to stop the bleeding here. And they're going to be granted possession. Curtis Arnold with the ball. Up top to Moran. McMahon across to Moran. Moran fakes a shot. Shot here from Owen Sound. Saved. St. Catharines now transitioning up the floor. He's got speed. Looking to beat Moran. He does. He gets a shot off, and that's going to be saved there by Hellier. Great run from Ari Steinhaus. McMahon now slowly up the floor. Moran across to Downs. Over to Moran. Takes a low shot. That's going to be blocked by St. Catharines, and they've got a lane now. Levi Roast. Well, McMahon did a good job uh, cutting that transition off. It looked like he was going to get in for a scoring opportunity. Trent Meridian now. Looking at the clock and knowing he's only got a few seconds till their even strength again. And there goes Tyson McGregor back to the bench as they look to bring out another attacker. On sound quickly up the floor. Calder Adams across, and he's going to head to the bench now. Lewis, ball's knocked free. He's able to regain possession. Has a bit of a lane, 
Slips there on the floor, able to get a pass away. Owen Sound still with the ball, McMahon now. Looking for a long shot, and that's gonna be saved by Napoli. Lewis. Lewis did a good job picking up that loose ball. They get another 30 here on the shot clock. Down low, Lewis with the ball, finds a lane. Goes five hole, and that's gonna be saved by Napoli. St. Catharines now. And that's knocked loose there from Owen Sound. They're gonna pick it up and they're gonna go up the floor. He's uncontested. All the way to the net. Shot, and that's gonna go wide. Marcus Granger talk with a great run. Oh, I guess St. Catharines gonna get called on the illegal substitution. Got a man out of the D door a little too early, so. Uh... Owen we'll Sound back to the power play, and hopefully we can see them again get a little more ball movement, more feet movement. I mean, they're, again, very static, not forcing the goaltender to move east-west whatsoever. A lot of the shots are all, all from the perimeter, so they're going to want to get inside, whether it's five-on-five five play or, or certainly here in on the power play. Taking a seat there for St. Catharines. Looks like number 18, Ethan Williams. Owen Sound now with the ball. Moran unable to pick up that errant pass. Able to get back in time. Passes that up to McMahon. McMahon with the long pass. Over to McMahon again. Down low. They're going to cut across, and he's going to try to go past the foot. He's going to hit the ground first off the goalie and wide. St. Catharines now getting Bodied by three Owen Sound North Stars. Knocks the gate open. Able to keep possession of the ball anyways and keeps going. Oh, we got a 10 second violation there. So they didn't clear their zone within 10. So Owen Sound back on the ball. Great work from Owen Sound here. Tyson Downs over to Curtis Arnold. It's going to go down and we got a shot here from McMahon. Just off the leg and wide. Yeah, and they're going to have to work the ball a lot harder than that. And you're not going to beat Napoli from the outside very often. He's square to the shooter. He's a big body. And, uh, you know, you've got to get this kid to move if you want to put one by him. It was a strong run from Leon Deach on St. Catharines there, but turned away by William Hellier. Owen Sound now looking to gain some composure here against a shorthanded St. Catharines team. Morris into Lewis. Lewis unable to get that pass, able to pick it up anyways. Down low to Moran, over to Lewis. Lewis unable to get that pass as well. Two dropped in a row. He's gonna be shaking his head on the bench after that. Yeah, a little bit of nerves up there. He's ordinarily not the guy, head man in the power play. So they just need to relax a little, let the game come to them and uh, better things will happen. We're forcing the play a little bit right now. Joe Coughlin now. Great battle along the boards, able to come up with the ball here. Coughlin gonna regain the ball. And send that off to McMahon. Cochran looking up high. Shot here from Owen Sound. That's gonna go wide off a defender. And here goes Owen Sound, cutting to the middle. Able to get a shot off. It's gonna go wide. They're gonna there's another great individual effort by Curtis Arnold there again to slash inside, get a great opportunity, but wasn't able to hit the net. And sound now back on defense. St. Catharines. Long shot here from St. Catharines. They're not going to find the back of the net, and that's going to bounce out of play and into Owen Sound's bench, who's going to gain possession now. To Downs, to Lewis. Down low, Owen Sound goes. Across up high, cuts to the middle, unable to find a shot. Downs up high to Moran. Moran looking for a shot, takes it off the shoulder. 
of Napoli. Picked off by Moran, and he shoots that wide. Downs with the ball. Nobody there to pick that one up. No, that was a bad pass with a fresh new 30 at 28 seconds left on it and tried to throw a kind of a scoop pass to Moran and it, it went to nobody other than St. Catherine's defender. St. Catherine's moving their feet well here in the offensive zone. Great pass and he's got a lane here. Shot just overhead, that's gonna miss the net. And they're not able to pick that one up. Colton Armitage missing that ball. And the shot clock's gonna run out. Owen Sound here now with possession. Cochran with the ball. Cochran down low. Shot on net there. Saved. And Owen Sound picks it up. They go back door. And he's bodied off the ball. No, we got an illegal cross check call made from the top of Fitzgerald out of here. So Owen Sound will get one more crack at the power play here halfway through the first period. Owen Sound being gifted every opportunity to get back into this game and looking here to convert on one of these power plays. Tyson McGregor there, two minutes for cross checking. McMahon. Up to McMahon. Finds Lewis. Down to Moran. Up to Lewis. Owen Sound. Looking for a bounce shot. That's going to miss the net. And Owen Sound is going to be given possession of that. Lewis with the ball, never afraid to shoot. Ops the pass to McMahon. Down low, up to McMahon. Low again. They're going to try to cross that pass over Coughlin. Unable to pick that one up, and it's going to be whack free there. And all the way down the floor goes on sound. Again, they've moved Carter Moran off the top. They maybe get a little ball handling down lower in the crease area, but uh, they still aren't in sync and uh, giving up these opportunities on the PP is a tough pill to swallow because you know there's going to be something coming the other way at one point. Good board battle there from both teams. And now Moran with the ball. McMahon to Moran, back to McMahon. Down low. Happy to keep this passing going. Shot's not going to find the back of the net. Owen Sound trying to pick it up here. They're able to. Downs with the ball. Up to Moran. To McMahon. Down low. McMahon looking to shoot. Sends it over to Moran, who shoots over the head. And that's not going to go in. St. Catherine is picking that one up and heading back up the floor now. Yeah, that should pretty much end the power play here, so they haven't really garnered much in the way of scoring opportunities on any of the three power plays they've had to date. And a lane here for St. Catharines. He's going to pass back door. They're going to try to bounce that one down and in, unable to find the back. Well, Hellyer did a real nice job getting across and uh, getting his body in front of that. He had no angle, but he did that. His stick reached around and would have went in had he not uh, shut the door. Noah Hemstock with the pass. Morrison in, shoots. Saved by the goalie. Napoli standing strong in this first period here. Been shorthanded uh, three or four times already and shutting the door every time. Jaden Patterson looking for a give and go, unable to find one there. St. Catharines, an errant pass there. It's going to bounce funnily back to Owen Sound, who's going to pick up the ball. And that's going to be removed from his stick, and his stick removed from him. <laughs> yeah, he had a bit of traffic there, and he wasn't going to get through the, the two defenders. Across there, St. Catharines.
unable to find a lane there. Great defense from Owen Sound. A long shot. That's going to be blocked by the defenders. Great block from number seven, Trent Beasel. And St. Catharines picks it up in front. Owen Sound knocks that one loose. St. Okay. Catharines back to pick it up in Owen Sound. Now going to pick up the penalty as soon as they touch the ball here. Extra defender out for St. Catharines. Long shot and saved by Hellier. Owen Sound going to the penalty kill for the first time this game. You know, we got an illegal cross check going against Trent Beasel. He, uh, he cross checked a player while he was on the ground in possession of the ball, and although he had possession, that's, uh, that's a no no. So that's going to cost him two minutes, and hopefully we get a better result killing this penalty than the first time around. Well, athletics with seven power play goals this year already. Looking to make that eight. Owen Sound trying to put a stop to it. William Hellier, this is going to be his, uh, his first penalty kill of this season. We're looking for big things here from him. And that's going to be blocked. Owen Sound, great sticks there. Across, looking back door. St. Catharines can't find anything. They're going to find the slot. And a great save there from Hellier, point blank. Moran taking some abuse there. Drops the ball and back into the corner. Owen Sound picks it up, and they're going to clear that all the way down to the other side of the floor. Yeah, they had nothing left on the, the shot clock to get it out in that 10 seconds, so they are forced to dump it down the end of the floor. St. Catharines setting up now in the offensive zone. Patterson with the ball, looks for a long shot, sails that over the, over the net. St. Catharines with the shot into the stick of Hellier. Owen Sound unable to pick that one up, and St. Catharines now blocked again, but it's picked up right in front of the net. And he's bodied well there. Great defense. From Owen Sound, number nine, Gavin Downs, with a hard hit on St. Catharines. Patterson here with the ball. The cross, long shot, misses the net again. Trying to go back door there. Owen Sound sending it up the floor, a long pass to Moran. Moran in tight, unable to beat Mike Napoli. I think Napoli got a piece of that and might have hit the bar after the fact, but. Uh... And a second great opportunity by uh, Moran on a breakaway in transition, and uh, hopefully he hasn't figured out for try number three. Waters now with the ball. St. Catharines looking for a long shot. Takes it and goes wide. Owen Sound picks up a bouncing ball. Knocked loose, though. Owen Sound looking to pick this one up, able to find it, and gets it out of the zone here, up the floor. Well, that was a good keep, uh, good power play kill, penalty kill by Owen Sound. Make, kept most of the play out to the perimeter. McMahon here. Owen Sound across, picks that up low, and Lewis with a low hard shot, just missing the post. St. Catherine is looking to get this out of their zone. Meridian now with the ball. Jekylls now. Down low. Looks for the long shot, doesn't find it, spins, takes it anyways. Wide of the net. Jekyll's trying to pick that one up, unable to. On sound with the possession. Sends that across to McMahon, down low. Coglin, across, shot. And that's going to go wide of the net again. Yeah, Owen Sound's going to have to start looking to get that ball inside, be patient, and use the, use the clock. They're, uh, they're not going to score very many shots from 40, 50 feet out. 
Well, it sounds knocking that out of play. Uh, they're going to say that went off St. Catherine's stick, so Owen Sound is going to keep possession here late in the first period. Lewis looking. Cuts to the net. Has the ball still. Shot and unable to find the back of the net. Yeah, that was the right idea, though. He brought the goaltender across the crease and looked like he got caught up underneath his arm. So, matter of inches there, it could have been a goal on the Owen Sound side. St. Catharines sends that down low. Unable to find a teammate here. Looks again, goes for the long bounce shot. Turned away by Hellier. Couple goals early, early in the game here and then nothing since. No, he's settling quite well, looking a lot more confident. Coglin now, over to McMahon. Down low, Hemstock. Spins in, looks for a shot, can't find it, up to Coglin. Cross to McMahon, down low again. Hemstock sends that across. Doesn't see the, the shot clock there and ends up with a shot clock violation and St. Catharines now with possession. An unfortunate missed opportunity there from Owen Sound. And St. Catharines unable to pick that one up. Jack Parker, one of our goal scorers here this afternoon. Owen Sound with the ball, up the floor they go. Thompson loses it. And we're going to get a timeout here called by St. Catharines as they pick up possession of the ball. Yeah, we've got, uh, I think, 30 seconds on the, the main clock and 28 or 29 on that shot clock. So it'll be interesting to see whether they choose to go six on five here for the remainder of the uh, possession. Well, we want to thank Pizza Hut for providing all the refreshments for our crew here at Rogers TV and Bayshore Community Center. Thank you, Pizza Hut. You can find them at www.pizzahut.ca or call them at 519-371-5660. Thank you again, Pizza Hut, for all of the refreshments. Owen Sound, I'm sure, loving here to pick up a goal and stop the... Uh, Stop this onslaught that they've faced here from St. Catharines. Already done a, a good job here at shutting the door late in the period, but would love to go into the first intermission down by one. Yeah, St. Catharines has chosen to keep the goaltender in, at least at this point. Whether he makes a mad dash down for that extra attacker late in the shot clock, we'll see. But uh, get a little five on five here for the last 18 seconds. Armitage taking his time. Killing the clock a little bit. Nobody moving very much at the moment. A bit of a stalemate. We've got some movement. A hard pass across. Owen Sound's going to pick that one up. And they're just going to hold on to it here until the end of the period. So our score. After one, we have two goals here for the St. Catharines Athletics and zero for Owen Sound. Join us after the break for a player interview. But he's, uh, you know, taking up some space. And a, just a perfect shot. And we got a tie ball game. It's nice low shot right around. Right around for Welcome to the traditional, ancestral, unceded territory of the Stalo people. The Stalo are people of the river. I'm so thankful for the courage and resiliency of our ancestors who lived on this land since time immemorial. Each of us have gifts from the Creator, and our Creator has a plan and purpose to be fulfilled in our territory. As we embrace our traditional teachings, we can lead the next generation into the fullness of what our Creator designed. Our shared history reveals a broken relationship. 
But as all Canadians commit to hear truth, acknowledge injustice, we can learn to walk in our traditional way, let's not, with a good heart and a good mind. Then all of our lives will be enriched. Kwasai. October 5th, 2014, my daughter was hit by a train. She was walking along the sides of the tracks and it shattered her world. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Bayshore Community Centre. I'm Nick Kennedy. I'm joined here by Jaden Patterson of St. Catharines. Uh, Jaden, you guys played the Six Nations Rebels and it was a low scoring game, which is a great feat against such a strong team. How did you do it and how are you looking to do it again here? Well, um, we were moving the ball really well. We were pushing the transition. We were stopping their transition. We were just limiting the uh, Simple mistakes, we were just playing a really good game until about the third period where we just kind of ran out of juice, fell apart, but it's early in the season, so that's okay. We'll, we'll keep continuing to progress from here, so. That's awesome, and hey, coming into a building like this, it's noisy, you've got, you know, you guys are the away team. What does that do to your head? How are you guys looking to quiet the crowd and walk away with a win? Well, long bus ride, you know, a um, couple hours, so gotta get, the, gotta get a fast start here. Uh, Starts from the first draw, bring a physical play early and uh, keep our foot on the gas. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us and stay tuned for the next period of play. Are you the type who would keep going or stop? It's not easy to stop when you have an addiction. Legalizing cannabis won't stop addiction. It trivializes its consumption. Let's be vigilant. If you need help, visit portage.ca. And he fell. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I'm not driving. I'm way too stoned. How are you feeling, Veer? Oh, since we had that talk, I'm not driving tonight at all. <laughs> what, what about, about you, you, Dave? You only had a couple of drinks. And only a couple of puffs. I don't drink and drive. No way I'm getting behind the wheel when I smoked weed, too. How are we getting home, then? You can drive, Dave. Come on, Dave. Take one for the team, buddy. Don't let weed and alcohol influence your decision to drive. Yeah, I need a ride. Today, I helped a senior find transportation to an important medical appointment. Today, I helped a new mom find virtual programming so she didn't feel so isolated. Today, I helped someone understand new government supports. Every day, 211 navigators connect Canadians to critical government and community programs and services. 211. Help starts here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Bayshore Community Centre and J.D. MacArthur Arena. I'm joined here with my co-host, Steve McCarthy. Steve, in that uh, interview there, we heard uh, Patterson say that, that St. Catharines is looking for an early start, a fast start, and that's how they're going to quiet the crowd. I think they found exactly what they were looking for. Yeah, they uh, got the early power play, and it didn't take long for them to to put one uh, five hole on his first shot against. And uh, uh, I think Owen Sound did a good job later in the period settling on defense. St. Catharines does come down the floor. They play with a purpose. They swing the ball well. They move their feet. But uh, the defense was up to the task. Owen Sound really needs to up their offensive game. It's, again, really static. Not a lot of ball movement, a lot of individual efforts, and it's not getting them anywhere. Hellier looking a little bit shaky at start, maybe getting a little bit of the rust off, a little bit of those nerves calmed, but able to really come in clutch when it mattered. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, the young goaltenders uh, look real good. You know, he, again, tough start to let your first shot in, but after that, he settled in well. He's made a couple big saves. He's looked confident. He's made tough saves look easy, and uh, yeah, I think uh, they 
They can't complain. Two goals against in the period is exceptional. We just uh, need to get a lot more going on the offensive end and, and get some offensive uh, opportunities out of transition, which Carter Moran had a couple, but weren't quite able to, uh, you know, tingle the twine, as they say. Owen oh, Sound there with three power plays, unable to convert. You said it. A little bit sloppy. Passes aren't looking great. We're not moving the ball as well as we have before in the past. What does Owen Sound need to do here in the second period to assert that dominance and, and show St. Catharines that this is their building? Well, I think, you know, on the offensive end, they've got to look to really, you know, listen to the coaching staff with respect to what set something up, follow through with it. Don't be trying to ad lib everything because, again, they're their tendencies have been to go on an individual effort. They're up against a team that, that looks like has some quality defenders, but a lot of pressure on the ball. So they're putting them under duress. So uh, if, unless you have a plan on how to execute, you're going to be in for a long day. Well, Owen Sound here looking to change the story of this game and how it's gone already here in the second period coming up. And St. Catharines happy to keep playing this game. Not a lot of goals, but uh, Mike Napoli in net for them has been solid. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us here and we'll be right back after the break. Hi, I'm Dave Carr. Next time on Politically Speaking, David Shearman will be your regular host and he'll welcome the mayor and deputy mayor of the town of the Blue Mountains. That's Politically Speaking on Rogers TV. My name is Matthew Rutledge. I'm a Sissy Scoop survivor, born in Red Lake, was adopted from there to Toronto at the age of four. A lot of our brothers and sisters, uh, family members, got separated from each other. That was the government's goal, to break that connection from brothers and sisters. It basically taking the Indian out of the child. Right now, they're still trying to find themselves. Originally, my birth name is Harvey Halverson. In my high school days, teens, I was trying to fit in to society. I knew I was First Nations, so I didn't know who I was inside. I think later in life, I started that journey. I am proud, and it's not my man, but who I am now. I love life, who I am. looking for that first goal. Carter Moran with nine goals on the season. He'll be looking to get into the double digits here, both in goals and assists. He's sitting at nine goals, nine assists. The leading scorer for the St. Catharines Athletics with six goals and seven assists. That's Jaden Patterson. You can see here the OLA Junior B lacrosse scoring leaders, Marcus Keller from Guelph. Able to uh, jump past Winter Rivera, who was the leading scorer of the league back when Six Nations had uh, come on up here to Owen Sound. Keller with uh, 18 goals, 15 assists, 33 points. Rivera just behind with one less game, 31 points. Down the list, Owen Sound looking to crack that top 10. Yeah, Winter Rivera had quite a week for him last week. He got an opportunity to play in the Six Nations Riverman Senior B home opener and uh, led the team, I think, with a, a goal and four assists or two and three. He hit five points anyways to lead the way for the Senior B club as well. And looking back here to Owen Sound, both teams here taking the floor and taking their benches as they line up for the opening faceoff of the second period. Owen Sound yet to put anything on the board. Thompson and Ben Smelly for the opening faceoff of period two and St. Catherine's able to pick that one up. Smelly bodying hard for that one. Back he goes. 
And a pass up there. Able to pick that up is number seven, Sutter Pilon. Owen Sound here, able to pick it up and transitions up the floor. Calder Adams waiting for the attackers to get on the floor. Cochran now with the ball. Down low. Moran up top to Lewis. Lewis looking for a shot, unable to find it. Back to Moran. Moran sends that down, but St. Catherine's able to get a stick in there and knock it loose. Tyson Morrison looking to disrupt the play there. Able to do so, but St. Catherine's now with the ball down low. And he was unable to get off the floor there. St. Catherine's attackers come out. Jekyll across, unable to pick that up. Owen Sound now with a loose ball in their own zone, picking it up. And up the floor they go along the boards. Great shoulder there. Gavin Downs all the way. Makes a quick pass across Moran, looking fivefold and unable to beat Napoli, who's been solid here this afternoon. Yeah, there's no room there with the big Woody between his legs on those five hole shots. Again, just bring him across the crease, make him stretch and uh, look to go around the outside of the arm. And Napoli is out of his net now, an extra attacker here for St. Catharines. His own sound is about to go on the penalty kill again. And a hard cross check there. Possession lost. And we've got an injured player here on the play. He is heading right off the floor here. Looks like number 10, that's Trent Meridian, taking a hard shot, holding his wrist here on the bench. Trainer's looking after him, so we'll check back in with him later. And Owen Sound now on the penalty kill. St. Catharines fakes the pass, goes for the shot, and gets it top corner right over the shoulder of William Hellier, number eight, Jack Parker, with his second goal of the game. You can see here, fakes a pass, takes the pass, receives it, And just a laser beam right over the shoulder there of William Hellier, top corner. Thompson winning that face off forward. Owen Sound now with the ball. Owen Sound with the shot, looking for the scoreboard, unable to find the back of the net. Hard shot there from Curtis Arnold, who has been very active this game already. Yeah, Curtis. Does an exceptional job of getting inside again, though, uh, looking to go five hole, and that's not going to be the, the go to place if you want to beat Napoli today. Williams takes a shot there up high, and he's going to go down. Owen Sound now, they're going to be another man down. Shot clock's going to go, and Owen Sound off to the penalty box here. The referees are going to talk this one over. I'm not sure if it's going to be more than a, a deuce on this one or not. Mitch Stevens with a high check in the face there of St. Catharines, and he's going to have a couple of minutes to think about that one. St. Catharines here. One for, or one for two here on the power play. St. Catharines looking to make that two for three. Great ball movement here from St. Catharines. Couple shot fakes and Patterson with the long shot. Unable to find that. That's gonna go all the way down to the other side of the floor where Napoli will calmly pick that one up and pass that back to Jack Parker, who's been dangerous today. And he's, he's gonna send that all the way down, unable to hit the net. And Owen Sound picks this one up now on the penalty kill. Travis Morrison. 
No, he's going to run himself into some trouble at the end of the floor and probably turn this ball over. Yeah, great hard. effort one on three, but uh, you know, when you run yourself into the corner of the rink on a one on two, you're not going to come out of there unscathed all that often. Ari Steinhaus sends that across. Parker sends that across. They're going to shoot. Ops to go inside and unable to find the back of the net there. Great defending from Owen Sound. Yeah, real nice luck. It's just a little tiptoe in the crease that negated that opportunity. Owen Sound here with the ball. Moran. Happy to keep this one up high for now. Looking to run as much off the shot clock and the penalty as he possibly can. Now taking some hard abuse and he's going to drop that one. St. Catharines picks it up and Owen Sound loses their stick. Nobody's able to hold the ball for a moment and St. Catharines in the end comes up with it. Patterson now with the ball down low along the boards. The cross. Parker. Shot. Up high, that's going to be saved by Hellier. As the penalty expires, Owen Sound back to even strength, but they're going to get one more shot off and a great save from Hellier in the arm. Owen Sound, overhead pass now. Downs back with it. Across into the slot, and he scores! Owen Sound, number 91, Tyson Morrison, puts the North Stars on the board. Yeah, real good job hitting the cutter on that transition opportunity. And again, he dragged the goalie across the net and uh, had half the net to put it in once he released. Nice fake, just looked, to, looked one way, came across his body with the stick and followed through and uh, found the back of the net. Ben Smelly winning that back. Owen Sound, though, going to pick it up and they're going to get a long shot in here in the slot. He's going to send that one wide. A little bit of pushing and shoving between the benches at the moment, between Thompson and Smelly. And St. Catharines here with the ball. Jekyll with the ball for St. Catharines. Jekyll sends that across. Walter to Patterson. Patterson looking. And we're going to get a call here against St. Catharines. Yeah, Cody McNeil, 44 from St. Catharines, uh, took a pretty good slash and uh, retaliated with a good hard cross check on the hip when he was throwing his pick. Well, Owen sounds here able to get on the board. They, they know Mike Napoli is not invincible, so can they once again strike and bring this game to within one? Owen Sound with it down low now. Gavin Downs. Adelaine opted for a pass. Moran sends a low pass. They're looking back door. A great shot there from Owen Sound. And a good save from Napoli. Again, a much better look than what they've, uh, they've been working so far. So uh, they keep that up, they'll get their opportunities. St. Catharines in the offensive zone, looking to slow things down here. Parker with the ball. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. And they're just gonna run this one out. Oh, it's sound with possession now. Up the floor they go. Mitch Stevens sends that off to Carter Moran. Back up to Moran, looking. Passes that off, Moran with it. And a great shot, but a better save. St. Catharines now with the ball, up the floor they go. A long pass here, unable to connect on that into the corner. Owen Sound picking it up, another long pass up. Gavin Downs now, letting his team change, get some attackers out there for the final 30 minutes of this power play. 
17 seconds on the shot clock. Moran. Moran spinning off that check. Up to McMahon. McMahon looking, takes the shot. Looking five hole and unable to beat Napoli. Now we've got it in all alone. Levi Rost with the shot and it's gonna go wide off the backboards. Owen Sound unable to pick that one up. St. Catherine is gonna get it instead. Check there by Owen Sound. And after that whistle, Owen Sound is gonna come up with possession. Both teams back to even strength. McMahon sends that one low. Lewis now. Coughlin with the ball. Looking for his team to move their feet and get open for him. Unable to find something. And he's going to turn that one over to St. Catharines. St. Catharines slowing it down here. And Jekyll's here with the ball. Good pick from St. Catharines. Jekyll's makes a pass to Patterson. Patterson looking down low. Over to Jekyll's. Parker, excuse me, takes the shot off Owen Sound's leg. It's not going to make it all the way through to the net. And they're going to run out of time. Well, another good set there on the defensive side. Well, it looks like we got a penalty going both ways. Both uh, a little kerfuffle as a couple of guys went to the benches. So. We love to see the passion. Both teams desperate for a win here today. Neither one willing to give an inch. Well, we'll get a little four on four lacrosse here and that may open things up for, uh, for Rowan Sound. Well, Owen Sound here with the possession at the center of the floor. And referee is just explaining to the coaches what's going on here. Letting them know it will be four on four. They're not offsetting penalties here. Moran with the ball, sends it to Downs. Checked hard along the wall. Back up top. Oh no. Unable to make that pass across. Trying to pick that one up. Owen Sound fighting hard for it along the wall. Takes a shot anyways. Goalie's there, able to stop that. Solid battle there from Curtis Arnold. Yeah, it was hard work again. Gave him another great opportunity, but he again went to try to go five hole and that's not gonna be <laughs> open very often today. And fantastic defense there from Trent Beasel. We got no one sound defender that pulled the ball from outside of the crease inside the crease, so that'll be a crease violation. And uh, St. Catharines will start up again on the O. St. Catharines looking, long shot. And a great shot there from St. Catharines. Yeah, Fakes the long shot, passes it in, and in behind the goalie. That's leading scorer number 11, Jaden Patterson. Now with seven goals on the year. Yeah, that was a, a well, well executed two-man game. A little backdoor pick, fakes the shot, dumps it in to 11 Patterson, and he uh, he buries it top top shelf. Again, these are especially with four-on-four four opportunities, something you'd like to see Owen Sound utilize rather than just the individual skill effort. You know, create a two-on-one with a pick-and-roll game. Owen Sound picking this one up. Morrison across to McMahon. McMahon bringing his team out here. Coughlin now. McMahon down low. Across to Morrison. Moran with the low shot. Saved by Napoli. Moran picking it up in the slot. Able to maintain possession. Looking here, sends that one, tries to find McMahon, unable to, and St. Catharines is gonna pick that one up and transition up the floor. Liam Deitch with the ball. And the referee is going to award possession to Owen Sound, and they're gonna promptly give it right back to St. Catharines. Sutter Pilon picking up that pass. 
Levi Rust with the ball. Across to Jekylls. Jekylls looking. Passes out across. And an in tight shot that's going to be saved by Hellier. Getting his shoulder up to block that corner. Oh, and Sound now with the run. All alone. Gavin Downs, low shot. Unable to find the back of the net. Yeah, that was a great effort. He got forced to his wrong side, but came across his body with a nice underhand shot that uh, just grazed the toe of the goaltender and stayed out. Lewis dangling around. Back with it is Lewis. Never afraid to shoot. And in tight, Arnold's unable to find the net there. Knocked loose, Downs now with the ball, long shot, goes wide of the net. And Hellier gonna send this one all the way down as fast as he can, but not in time for the shot clock, and St. Catharines will regain possession here. St. Catharines, a couple of head fakes there. Nothing comes of it, brings it back up top, and they're gonna get a low pass in here. Again, and Patterson got lost there again on a sliding off his backdoor pick and uh, no communication on the North Stars defensive end and uh, they were lucky it uh, passed, bumped off the top of his head and wasn't able to control it. McMahon twisting, turning, falling, holding on to the ball still. Looks up top, finds Coughlin. Yeah. And that's gonna be knocked loose there by St. Catharines and up the floor they go. Ooh, can't handle that one. And Hellier, he'll send that out. Yeah, the Athletics team. defense has been uh, tenacious. They're just uh, all over Owen Sound when they try to move the ball down low, and uh, it's really disrupted any kind of flow they're attempting to get. Tyson Downs. A battle along the boards here, hard battle. Downs out with it, tries to find Arnold, can't. St. Catharines leaping and finding that. Pilon. Yeah, that's unfortunate because that's one of the few uh, two-man games they've utilized. Uh, and again, Curtis did a good job getting to the net, but the pass went off the top of his stick. And here we go, Moran on a breakaway. Moran with a hard low shot. It's going to bounce off the goalie and out of play. So Owen Sound will maintain possession here. Cochran with the ball. Up to McMahon. Finds Morrison, who sends it over the shoulder, picked back up in front. And that's gonna go wide. Oh, and sound, errant pass, all the way back across the floor laterally and picked up by St. Catharines. Transitioning up the floor. They send that one in low. Patterson now. Cuts in. Has the ball knocked free, but he's able to pick it up. Takes a chop to the back to his knees and gets up with the ball still. Patterson looking to make something happen, sends it in low, and a low shot there saved by the goalie, but Owen Sound doesn't see the rebound. They're gonna pick it back up as St. Catharines finds it. Again, that's been a troubling, uh, troubling situation for a good part of this season where they're not uh, recognizing loose ball opportunities and allowing teams to have second and third offensive sets uh, in a row. Hellier catching that in uh, the pocket of his pads there in the knee. Downs sending that low. Arnold trying to find the back of the net here. Back to Downs, sends it across. McMahon can't handle that one. Downs with the ball. And that's blocked by St. Catharines. He's able to pick it back up. Not a lot of time left. Needs to get a shot off here. And they're gonna leave that one for St. Catharines to pick up and another little offensive battle there between uh, Lewis and Levi Rost. St. Catharines here, Parker with the ball. Sends that low. Swings back up. Unable to cut to the middle, he trips there over his own feet, goes down, and St. Catharines picks it up. Parker now, very dangerous in the slot with the ball, shoots that five hole. And that's gonna be saved by William Hellier back into the corner, but St. Catharines picks up the rebound again. 
Patterson looking. And a pick there. Sends that across. And a hard check from Owen Sound sends him to the floor. He's going to feel that one as he fixes his mask. And Owen Sound is going to be shorthanded again, it looks like here. And another illegal cross check. I guess the referee determined that cross check was a little late. Uh, you know. Yeah. Could have probably let that one go, although with the sound of the thump to the cement, uh, I guess he felt obligated to, to hand out another penalty. Thompson's going to have to uh, sit and watch his team here for a, a couple of minutes. Hellier getting some water there from the bench. Yeah, this will be a big kill opportunity for Owen Sound. They certainly don't want to go down another goal, making a 5-1 late in the second period. So if they could ever uh, come up with a shorty in transition here and cut the lead to 4-2, that would certainly be the goal of the next two minutes, I think, here. We're definitely in that range of a period where any goal is a huge swing in momentum going into the intermission here. Great save there from Hellier. Picked back up there by Parker. Parker looking. Fakes a couple of passes here. Finally makes one, and we've got a shot from Patterson, and he finds the back of the net. Again, a lot of time and space for uh, a guy who's the leading scorer on St. Catharines. Again, so you've got to know who you're, again, who you're up against, who you want to eliminate on the man down situation, and he's certainly not a guy you want to leave uh, open with eight to 10 feet of uh, pump action and then release. Parker keeping that ball up high for St. Catharines, daring Owen Sound to challenge them and able to find a, an open scorer. Owen Sound fighting for this one. Arnold able to pick that up and along the boards. Still holding, it's knocked loose there. And St. Catharines, St. Catharines with possession, but it's going to be awarded back to Owen Sound here. McMahon across. Lewis looking for anything, anything he can find. He finds a spin, gets a shot. And unable to find the five hole there. And Owen Sound misses that one. St. Catharines now with the ball in all alone. Levi Ross with the shot and saved. Yeah, we've got a too many men violation on uh, the North Stars, so they'll go back to the box here with 3.15 remaining in the second period, down 5-1. Owen Sound seems to be shaken here a little bit. Making some mistakes there on the rush. And it looks like Tyson Morrison will be serving this too many men penalty for Owen Sound, you can see here, one goes off, two come on, uh, before the second player was ever able to get off the floor. St. Catharines here with the ball, a long shot, and he finds the five hole early on. Yeah, he was able to skim that ball along the floor through traffic and uh, you know, unfortunately, William Hellier lifted his stick just enough for the ball to roll between his legs. Cody McNeil, 17 seconds into the power play, bounces that one underneath the stick of Hellier and between the wickets. Thompson and Smelly now facing off. Thompson wins that forward. Yeah, and that, that penalty they took, unfortunately, came as a result of getting beat in transition and uh, having to let a guy out the back door early to try to uh, catch up to the breakaway. And it cost them on the power play eventually. Jekyll sends that low. Across. St. Catharines not finding too much, but they're going to find a way all the way to the net. Both Owen Sound North Stars going after the ball carrier and leaving somebody in behind them. Back with the ball as St. Catharines looking for something here. Long shot. It's going to go wide. 
They're going to regain possession down low again. Back up, down low to Jekylls. Unable to find a lane to the net. And he'll send that off. Errant pass all the way back to the bench of the Athletics. Sends that one down low. Cody McNeil up to Jekylls. Good defense there from Owen Sound. McMahon able to put a, put a stop to that one. And Owen Sound now with the ball. A bounce pass as they transition up the floor here. Owen Pryor sends that off. Coglin down low. Morrison finds Downs. Downs across. Shot from Hemstock. Oh, he lobs that one in and unable to find the back of the net. St. Catharines back on the attack. Parker looking for number three this game. Able to come up with that one. McNeil sends that one down. Cuts to the middle, takes a cross check, bounces off. Nobody keeps on him, and he gets a shot away. It's going to be saved by the goalie. Doesn't know where it is at the moment. Needs a little bit of help finding that one. And they're going to send that back up the floor. Carter Moran finds Downs. 41 seconds left. Downs takes a long shot off the goalie and out of play. They're going to regain possession with 39 seconds left in this period. Owen Sound here with the ball. Sends that across. Looks for the shot. Off the goalie and out of play again. So Owen Sound. A couple late shots. Chipping down the clock here. 30 seconds left. Lewis twisting, turning, finds Moran. Over to Downs. Sends that low and unable to find Lewis. Off the referee, though, so Lewis can pick that one up. Gets a break there. Spins off. Sends that high. Cochran with the low shot. Again, off the goalie and out of play. Owen Sound with 9.3 seconds left. And they're going to call a timeout. Try to write up a, a quick play here and see if they can't get one more this period. Mike Napoli standing, standing strong for the St. Catharines Athletics. And both teams conferring at the bench here. Yeah, there should certainly be an opportunity to go six on five. You got nothing to lose. You're down five. You got, with nine seconds to go, plenty of time to, to uh, set something up and uh, take advantage of having an extra offensive player on the floor. Both teams walking back out onto the floor. Well, we got six on the floor. No one's told the goalie what he's up to, but there he does uh, now head to the bench. And Hellier finding his way there back to the bench. Gate still open. 9.3 seconds. Owen Sound here with the ball. Up top, Arnold drops it, finds it again. Long shot. Off the goalie's leg. And the clock is going to run out. Owen Sound going into the second intermission, down by five. Score after two, six for the St. Catharines Athletics, one for the Owen Sound North Stars. William Hellier in his first start, looking strong, having a, a few team breakdowns there, and Owen Sound finds themselves trailing going into the second period. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back after these messages. Don't forget to tune in to Gray County Life on Rogers TV next week. We're going to be talking to Gracie Jett. She's a singer, songwriter, and musician. After a night out with your friends, not having a plan for a safe ride home can leave you in a bad spot. You could end up riding in a police car, an ambulance, or a hearse. 
These unplanned modes of transportation can be a costly choice and do not take you home. Your plan could include a designated driver, a taxi, or public transit. Drink responsibly, choose your ride, and have a plan for a safe ride home. Visit ArriveAlive.org to find out more. Hi, I'm Lois Taylor. And I'm Diane Austin. And we're with It's Happening Here with Lois and Diane. And we're in downtown Owen Sound. Beautiful downtown Owen Sound. Nice yes. sunny day. Yes, we have lots of exciting things coming for you this fall. Mm -hmm. We have anything from going to Rintoul's Pools and Spas, we're going to be going to Popeyes, we're actually going to be going to Treasure Hunt. There's so many things that uh, businesses we're going to be seeing. Yes. We look forward to seeing you all. Come and join us on It's Happening Here on Rogers TV. Lovely viewers, it's your host of On The Couch, Antoine El Hashim, reminding you to tune in for every episode of season nine of the longest running and most loved local queer talk show on Rogers TV. Check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to the Bayshore Community Center. My name is Nick Kennedy, and I'm joined here with Owen Sound North Star, Noah Hemstock. Uh, Noah, you guys had a big defensive battle in the last game. What are you looking to do here uh, to flip the script? Uh, you know, we, we started off a bit uh, not strong. Uh, I think everybody was talking how we have to come out here today and come out a bit stronger on D, you know, step up on the, lo or the high shots there, and hopefully that worked for us today. Great. Well, hey, this is your third game in four days. What is the feeling inside the locker room? How are you guys going to try to walk away here with the win? Well, again, the boys were a bit tired, but today we come ready to play, you know, pumped up, listening to the loud music in there, coming up hired for warm-ups, and hopefully carry on today as a victory. Awesome. Well, best of luck today, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned for our next period of play. Every year, dozens of Canadians are killed or seriously injured because they take risks around railway tracks. Talk to your loved ones about rail safety. Visit StopTrackTragedies.ca. Johnny wanted to go back home. It was a thousand kilometers away. They forced him to go to the Indian Restaurant to school. More than 150,000 of us children had to go. They wanted to change us. Our Father in heaven, Our Father in heaven hallowed, be your name. hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy, kingdom thy, kingdom come. thy will be done. Thy will be done. Kill the Indian and the child. It's been called cultural genocide. I survived residential school. My brother, Johnny, did not. Chani Wenjack was one of thousands of children who died due to Canada's residential school system. More than 80,000 survivors and their families still live with its legacy today. What kind of show do you want to see on Rogers TV? What interests you? Log on to rogerstv.com, fill out a show proposal, and tell us about your segment idea. We want to know what you want to see. Rogers TV, only on Rogers. Well, Tyson Morrison able to get the Owen Sound North Stars on the board, finally, after a couple of periods. Unfortunately, the only goal so far for Owen Sound. Uh, Owen Sound letting in four goals that period. Defense is, is not looking as good as it has in the past. Yeah, they've, uh, they, in fits and spurts, they, they do a good job defending, but they, uh, they left a couple easy goals uh, on the board there as a result of not being able to cover a two-man game and uh, allowing a player to leak in behind and be all alone, and then a couple power play goals to top that off. So when you're not scoring on your in the, with your own possessions, you can't afford to be taking penalties. Owen oh, Sound looking to make a change here. Again, taking a few penalties, a little bit of passion maybe going both ways. And uh, 
unable really to make anything happen on offense either. Yeah, again, you know, it's it's not through lack of effort, I don't think, but it's just cohesiveness. They're not going down there really with a, they don't appear to have an idea what they want to accomplish each time down. It's a lot of one-on-one -on -one play. When he doesn't have opportunity to get an opening, he'll pass it off to the next guy, and then they stand and watch. There's not a lot of ball movement or movement of their feet off ball. Not a lot of uh, picks being set up, whether it be on ball or off ball. So, uh, yeah, they've got a lot of work to do in that regard, and uh, you know whether it be five up or even on the man, uh, the man up. St. Catherine seeming to do a, a really good job at taking advantage of these weak picks that Owen Sound is putting up. Not a lot of, uh, not a lot of sandpaper there in the defensive zone for Owen Sound, and St. Catherine's happy to take those low passes and cut across to the net it seems. Yeah they do have a, a real cohesive unit. I mean they don't look like they have any weak links on their with their offensive players. They're all uh, they're all getting touches. They're all swinging the ball. They're moving their feet off ball and uh, you know they're creating a lot more danger in the offensive zone and uh, unfortunately Owen Sound has to this point. Well Owen Sound here at risk of losing their fourth straight game. St. Catharines looking for a win after a close loss against Six Nations. What do you think Owen Sound needs to do here to come back into this one? Well, again, they're going to have to take advantage of some opportunities in transition. You know, anytime you can get that, that that's something that works in your favor with the clock. I mean, it's, it's a play where you'll go end to end almost in five to five to eight seconds. Uh, they certainly have to shut down any transition opportunities going the other way and stay out of the box and just be patient on offense, but go down there with, with the desire to uh, make a play, utilize your teammates, and uh, create two-on-one opportunities where you can get somebody in that has some time and space and an opportunity to move Napoli across the net because uh, these 40 or 50 sh foot shots have not been uh, looking any harm today. Well, Owen Sound down here by five goals. Both coaches, I'm sure, with a few things to say here. Owen Sound looking to cut the lead down, and St. Catharines looking to hopefully extend this and get their uh, first win of the weekend here. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for the first two periods, and we will be right back after this break with the third period of play. But he's, uh, you know, taking up some space. And a, just a perfect shot. And we got a tie ball game. It's nice low shot right around. Right around for when an impaired driver killed my brother DJ, my life changed forever. During the pandemic, all of our lives changed and many of us turned to alcohol and drugs to cope. As life returns to normal, the increase in substance use from COVID has lingered and some police services report an increase in impaired driving that caused heartbreak and devastation. Now, more than ever, we need your commitment to never drive impaired and to encourage all of your family and friends to do the same. Together, we can save lives. Your mouth can do a lot of amazing things. And your mouth can save a life. Hi, I'm Tom Wong. I'm just one of close to 1,000 Canadians in search of a stem cell match. We need your help. A simple swab is all you need to register on the National Stem Cell Database. You could be the one to save a life. Find the hero in you. October 5th, 2014, my daughter was hit by a train. She was walking along the sides of the tracks and it shattered her world. <laughs> to the Bayshore Community Center and J.D. MacArthur Arena here in lovely and rainy Owen Sound, Ontario. Both teams are taking the floor. St. Catharines gathering around their net, wishing their goalie luck. Owen Sound looking to make a change here this period, I'm sure. Really trying to make some offense happen. Five goal deficit is not necessarily out of the question, but they are going to need a quick start here in the third period. Yeah, they're going to really have to take advantage of their possessions and 
not cough anything up in transition. So, uh, you know, hopefully uh, they've got their heads on straight, heading towards, uh, you know, the last 20 minutes. Well, you can see here some of our next games coming up on May 7th, playing St. Catharines. Uh, Saturday, May 13th, we will be in Windsor. May 14th, we're in London. And in a couple of weeks, we will be back here at the Bayshore Community Center. St. Catharines here with possession. Sends that down and across. And it looks like we've got a ripped jersey out there on the back of Jekylls. Jekylls passes that across to Patterson. No, I think he's got it hung up on his kidney pads there, so. And a hard shot there, turned away. And Hellier drops his stick. Own sound. With some speed now up the floor, Cochran looking to insert some life into this team. Owen Sound cutting to the front, Morrison with the ball, high shot. And a save there from Napoli. That was a real nice effort, and then Napoli's throwing an errant pass up the floor, so. Uh, that's gonna go to Hellier. Sound gets to start back up again. Goalie to goalie, and then to Morrison. Moran here. McMahon unable to find something. Some better movement, finds the back of the... Oh, unable to find the back of the net there, but there he does. Owen oh, Sound picking up the loose ball, number 24, Curtis Arnold, working hard all game, and he is finally rewarded with one here this afternoon. Yeah, he picked up that rebound and uh, stepped across the crease and dropped it underneath Napoli's glove. And again, that's what you're gonna need to do. Far too often they've settled for uh, trying to beat him with a quick little shot inside under the five hole, and uh, that time Curtis Arnold uh, put it where he had to. A fantastic pickup there from Arnold. Gets it backhand off the boards off of a uh, Sean McMahon uh, shot, and able to find the back of the net here. And, and unfortunately, uh, Elliot Thompson's taken a bad penalty here to put them right back on the defensive. Looking at another power play in St. Catharines. Thompson there with a little bit of a can opener and he'll be back in the penalty box for the second time this afternoon. Up to Parker. Patterson finds his back door and no shot. He got a crease violation there when he attempted to pick up the rebound. He slid through the back of the crease, so uh, ball to Owen Sound. Owen Sound now. Cochran with lots of speed on this penalty kill, unable to find a lane there, so he turns back. Looking for any kind of offense. Down by a man, he doesn't seem to care at all. He wants this, wants this ball in the back of the net. Hemstock as well with a great battle along the boards. St. Catharines now, Parker. Meridian to Parker, and then down. Meridian with it, right in front. And they're gonna say it's a crease violation, so it's no goal. Well, they were fortunate there, because uh, Meridian made a nice look and uh, got himself inside. And McMahon with a great run there, unable to find the back of the net, bounces that up, and goalie's going to hold on to that one nicely. St. Catharines here. Meridian with the ball. Waiting. Finds Patterson right out in front. It's going to go off the post. Yeah, we get a reset here, and... With 24 seconds left in the power play. McNeil to Parker. Parker to Patterson. 
Back to Parker. Fakes it to McNeil, shoots, and he finds top Cheddar. Again, just got to get the sticks in the lane and uh, deny that shot. He certainly wasn't looking a quick stick from up there. A couple of pump fakes and uh, let her rip and uh, yeah. And just he got to do a better job of forcing him to move the ball rather than letting him plant his feet and uh, get in the, the, sh the shooting He's gonna lane. He's going to fool Hellier on that one. And that is actually going to be uh, Jack Parker's hat-trick goal of the game. St. Catharines here being awarded possession. Not the start to the period that Owen Sound was necessarily hoping for, looking for hopefully back-to-back -back goals, but they're gonna trade one for one here. And a long shot there. Again, the loose ball picked up by St. Catharines. So again, it's the theme that uh, Owen Sound's really gonna have to work on going forward. There we go. A long shot there from St. Catharines. This time it does find the back of the net. Beats some short side. That's Colton Armitage. And we've got a little bit of a uh, little bit of emotions here running high at the Bayshore. Owen Sound justifiably yeah. upset here. Yeah, no doubt there's some frustration setting in on the Owen Sound side. I mean, nobody likes to lose, and after a promising start to the season, winning their opener, a good game against St. Catharines, followed by another good game against Alora, they're, uh, they're falling on harder times the last couple outings. Here goes Arnold again. Unable to find the back of the net, and he's going to take a late hit going head first into the boards there. St. Catharines to the penalty box with them, and Owen Sound to the power play. Yeah, another great hustle play by uh, number 24, Curtis Arnold. And again, the only mistake he probably made was looking to go five hole because we've seen all day, uh, you know, uh, Napoli's done a great job keeping that stick on the floor, not flinching at all. And uh, that's pretty much a black hole if you're looking to go there. So that's Ben Smelly with the penalty. Owen Sound now on the power play and a close shot for Cochran, unable to find it. That was outstanding ball movement. So had we seen this earlier in the game, we'd uh, probably be looking at a much different score. Owen Sound looking hungry out there. Downs now. Sends that into the slot, and McMahon unable to pick up that pass. Cochran fighting for it. And they're going to award possession here to St. Catharines after a strong battle there. And up the floor. Runs into a couple of defenders there. Sends that down. Parker cutting to the middle with three goals already. Not going to take a shot. Happy to kill the clock here with five seconds left on the shot clock. He's going to see if he can cut across. Loses the ball. And possession is going to go back to Owen Sound. He's going to take a bit of a late hit there, but no harm, no foul. And Owen Sound now back up the floor. Arnold to Coglin down low now. Coglin fakes the shot, goes to Arnold, doesn't find anything, and sends that back across. Arnold with it, long shot. Unable to find the back of the net there. St. Catharines taking their time getting this out of the zone. Takes a bit of a 10-second oh, violation. He's cutting it close and then up catching up to him. And sound now with the ball. Moran sends it back door. Nothing there for Morrison. Own sound with possession. Arnold now with the ball up high. Sends that back down low. Arnold with it, looking shot over the head. That's going to go off the glove of the goalie in wide. Across. Arnold hungry, has that knocked loose. Coglin now sends that to McMahon. McMahon with a hard shot through the five hole, and it's going to be deflected wide behind the goalie. 
Beats him, but can't find Twine. Ah, uh, catch it. And now in all alone, St. Catharines number nine takes the shot and cannot find the back of the net there. Oh, and sound coming out strong. William Hellier making his body look big. And yeah, they're going to take another too many man penalty with sending a guy off the bench too early. And then negate a power play, which is probably the best one they've had so far with, with lots of time left on. And it's unfortunate, but we're going to get a lot of four on four for the next minute 35. So Thompson will be serving that one for the North Stars. Unhappy, of course. Lots of space to move out there for these players. And a hard shot, doesn't find the back of the net. Owen Sound now. He's going to take a couple of hits, but he finds his way through. Gavin Downs can't get the shot away. St. Catharines now transitioning back up the floor. Downs showing a great burst of speed there. He looked like he was all done just looking to pass the ball off and blew. Blew through four, three blue defenders, but uh, couldn't get it organized to score. Holden Stevenson going up to try to block that. Shot gets through, and Hellier with a big save. Fiesel with a long shot. Morrison unable to come up with that. St. Catharines slowing this one down. across into the offensive zone. Walters with the ball. Back to Walters. Looks for a shot lane. Has to go back out wide, down to a teammate. Cuts across. Oh, he got blown up on the pick on the back there, but otherwise he was all in, so. Change of possession here as Owen Sound heads back up the floor. Travis Morrison sends that off to Cochran. Cochran around his defender and a good pass to McMahon who sends that across to Coughlin who can't pick that one up. And now St. Catharines in on alone. Does he have the speed to beat McMahon and the shot? Ooh. Able to get past McMahon a little bit there, but provides enough uh, sandpaper that he can't get a clean shot away. And Hellier turns that one aside with relative ease. Downs now with it. Stops, cuts back. McMahon. Curls, sends that up high. Moran across. Owen Sound now pulling the goalie. It's, they're going to a power play. And they're going to blow the play dead here. As St. Catharines is going to be sending somebody. Well, it looks like the they're, they're going to be taking uh, Curtis Arnold. Is, is Pretty startling as well. So whether it be a four, four minute and a two minute, I guess we'll find out. They're giving the ball to St. Catherine, so it's likely going to be two and two. Ari Steinhaus for St. Catherine's in the box. Curtis Arnold for Owen Sound, and it's going to be. Yeah, that's unfortunate because they were looking at getting another power play opportunity, and Owen Sound's last power play uh, looked much better than the four or five they've had previous. Trent Meridian unable to come up with that long pass, but he picks up possession anyways. Cuts across to the middle. Patterson with the high shot, and he's going to find the back of the net. Lifts it right up and over Hellier's shoulder. That is a goal scorer's goal right there. And that's his hat trick here this evening as well. Three goals for Jaden Patterson, nine on the season. Again, just another well executed two man game. Patterson sets the pick, then releases, goes to the net, fires one off the bar, off Hellier's butt, and dribble in the net. Great play there from St. Catharines. Face off here. Both teams still at four on four. For another minute and a half here. St. Catharines with the ball. Colin Walters looking for a play. Sends that low. 
across now. Jekylls with the ball. Looks for the long shot, finds it. Doesn't find the goalie. Owen Sound transitioning up the floor. He's got a burst of speed. Thompson past the defender, takes the shot, and goalie squeezes his legs and able to hold that one there. Great run from Thompson. Yeah, great effort there. And once again, Napoli, who uh, hasn't had a lot of tough shots to handle today, but anytime Owen Sound's gotten in and gotten that opportunity, he's uh, he's pretty much shut the door as you know, he reflected in a 9-2 score. But. And that's going to go off the post and not in. Owen Sound picking up the ball and a hard check there. Owen Sound going to the penalty kill once again. A hard late cross check there. Looking like Owen Pryor, number 16, probably getting called on that one. And there he goes off to the penalty box. Owen Sound, it's going to be a little bit of four on three action potentially here. You can see here the late hit after contact was already made with 17 Travis Morrison. So Pryor gonna take a few minutes, contemplate that one. And we don't see this often, but we will get uh, uh, about 45 seconds here of four on three. Team's taking a bit of a break here to write something up. And Owen Sound a little bit confused here about who's going off. Now both stay on, and Trent Beasel gonna be the one to find a little bit of bench here. St. Catharines long shot blocked there, Owen Sound. Travis Morrison with a strong stick. It's gonna send that all the way back to St. Catharines zone. Patterson's gonna slip there on the floor, but he picks it up. Owen Sound. Looking to defend some dangerous scorers here, but with the ball now, here goes McMahon all alone. Defender can't catch him, he gets a hard shot off and that's gonna go off the bar and all the way down to the other side of the floor. St. Catharines here now with the ball. Across, McNeil with the shot and that's gonna trickle in through the legs of William Hellier. Hard, hard shot there from McNeil as he finds the back of the net. Yeah, that was unfortunate for uh, Hellier. He uh, got over, blocked the shot, but uh, just trickled in over the line. You can see here McNeil gets a, a great backdoor pass. Owen Sound not ready for it. Marcus Grandier talk unable to get himself all the way over to defend both players and in the back of the net, the ball goes. St. Catharines here being awarded possession. And they'll send that across as they run this one into the offensive zone here. Walters drops that one. Own Sound can't pick it up and they're in alone again. And he's gonna send that up and across. Hard shot here from Own Sound. Right into the stick. Surprise, surprise, somebody went five hole again and uh, right into the thick of the big woody. So again, that's not gonna cut it. Lots of low attempts here on Mike Napoli, who has successfully shut the door on just about all of those. Jekylls now down low. Shot here. McNeil out in front with the shot. And Helly are able to get in front of that one and knock it loose with the shoulder. Owen Sound on the transition. Morrison in behind the defenders. Hemstock battles along the boards, unable to come up with it, and St. Catharines now back up to the floor. Owen Sound really struggling to set anything up here in the offensive zone, relying mostly on rush chances. Parker here, slowing the game down. And a long shot there. Goes wide. And Jekylls with a hard shot saved by Hellier. Hellier with a long bomb up there to Carter Moran. Moran, he's got his team here. Moran playing a lot of defense this game for Owen Sound. 
Yeah, try to take advantage of him in the transition game, but uh, just, you know, other than a couple earlier chances, hasn't been much the last half of the game result from that. McMahon spinning. And they're gonna run out of time there on the clock. Mm. Uh, looks like Owen Sound's taking another penalty. Looks like it might have been a delay of game, so whether he uh, messed around with the ball in a dead ball situation, didn't quite catch that. So that's going to be Will Lewis finding two minutes there in the penalty box. St. Catharines. Now up top, McNeil with a hard shot. Great save from Hellier. Comes up with it, tries to get a long pass in, able to connect with Tyson, or with uh, Thompson rather, who goes low and tries five hole again. He tried five hole. The good news is, is that uh, that excellent pass by the goaltender up to Morrison resulted in uh, St. Catharines releasing a defender off the bench too early, so we'll See them spend two minutes in the box and we'll play some four on four for a minute 32. Moran now at the center of the floor here with the ball. Owen Sound looking to set something up with some of their big guns here. Moran able to curl, finds a shot. And Napoli moves laterally between the pipes quite easily. And St. Catharines now up the floor. Steinhaus battling along the boards. Gets around Morrison, taking his time. Cuts across, able to find some open floor. And not able to get that one in the back of the nets. No, oh, nice save, a great move coming out from board side. And uh, hell, you're again, another big save. Patterson now with a long shot and a great stick there from Carter Moran. Lots of room here for both teams to work with. 44 seconds left of four on four. Long sound. Little flip pass there in front of the net and nobody's there to pick it up. So St. Catharines now with possession again. Up the floor they go. Pilon looking, finds Patterson. Across, McNeil looking, shuffling, throws it to Patterson. Across here, back to McNeil. McNeil, with a, he has a dangerous shot, but sends it to Patterson, who shoots that off of Hellier's shoulder. And they're gonna send that right back in, but Owen Sound battling here. And coming up with possession. Great shoulder there. Owen oh, Sound, strong body here on the ball. They're throwing that all the way up to Moran. Moran looking. And Owen oh, Sound calling a quick timeout here with four and a half minutes left of play. So they'll have a five on four situation for seven seconds here. So again, that'll give them ample time to set something up with the ball being, possession being awarded into St. Catherine's zone, and uh, you can't blame them for trying to run these odd odd man up plays at this point in the game when uh, there's certainly no comeback coming with four minutes and 37 seconds, down eight, but uh, every little bit of uh, learning situations that the, the coaching staff can uh, impart on the players at this point and uh, hopefully get some success out of it. Once again, we'd like to thank Pizza Hut for providing the refreshments uh, for our crew here at Rogers TV and Bayshore Arena. You can find them at www.pizzahut.ca or call them at 519-371-5660. Owen Sound here. Moran with the ball, sends that low into the slot. 
McMahon unable to come up with it, and St. Catharines picks that up. They've got a player right out of the box. He's in all alone, streaks in, shoots low, and he beats Hellier right through the five hole. Yeah, I'm not sure if he uh, looked far side and brought it back short side, or maybe he did go through the five hole, but again, uh, he had a 50-foot cushion from uh, any defender after a botched play in front of the St. Catharines net. They picked up transition, hit the guy coming out of the penalty box. Ethan Willems all the way up. No fake, just a hard, strong shot down low, and Hellier unable to keep that one from the back of the net. Owen Sound now finding themselves down by nine. And St. Catharines back up with it again. Patterson, down low, cutting across in the slot, and they're going to call a crease violation there. Oh, it sounds with possession now off the floor. Again, just an errant pass in transition. These, these types of things have been haunting them uh, the past few games, and it's resulted on the negative impact on the scoreboard. Levi Rose staying out there for this play. Walters sends that across. McNeil down to Jekylls. Across. Looking for a high shot. Can't find one. Sends a low pass. Looks back door and Jekylls picks up that errant pass. They're going to run out of time here and Owen Sound now with possession. So that is not going to count. Owen Sound here. Cochran cuts across. Around the boards. Back up top for Moran. Moran fake spins and gets a quick deceptive shot off there the leg. Moran takes down his opponent on the boards and Cochran comes up with the ball. Downs. And we're gonna get some pushing and shoving here. And Moran going after St. Catharines, now getting two men there. Nobody coming to his defense, and there, Cochran going after him, and we're gonna get a, quite a few penalties here. Cochran getting pulled out of that one, and Moran still getting gone after here. They're not letting up at all. Cochran already going to the box. Still battling. Moran just being held. And both players here are gonna take a couple of minutes. And Moran being sent off. And we're gonna take a look here at what started uh, a little bit of this, some, oh, uh, a spear right there, right into the gut of Moran. That's 66, Caleb Taylor with a very dirty spear. So Moran's gonna go after him and, and then uh, another defender is gonna, gonna go after Moran. So we see two players in the box, number six. Lachlan Beliveau. As the referees are sorting this one out on paper, lots of paperwork to do after a battle like that. Take a look at the benches here, a little bit thinner than before, but not too bad. Yeah, the officials were probably uh Lucky that didn't develop into something else with uh, both of them engaged in the Carter Moran and the athletic player. There's a couple other opportunities for things to boil over, but uh, nothing really resulted from it. You know, battles like that will tend to happen in 
Games with uh, such a, a large goal differential late in the game here. Tempers are, are flaring and players are maybe a little bit more inclined to go after each other than to go after the scoreboard in a game like this. And both Thompson and Patterson delivering the news to their respective coaches. Referees have made final decisions and looks like St. Catharines isn't overly pleased with the decision, but they're accepting it. And we will uh, get back to play here in just a moment. Yeah, I would imagine it could be a even a three on three situation here for the could be the remainder of the game, depending on what uh, how they hand these penalties out. But they're garnering a little crowd. Oh, yep. One each for both teams, so they must have called majors on the other two, which will be offsetting. So. so we will play the majority of the rest of this game. Four on four. Thompson and Smelly face off. And Smelly's going to win that one back. Patterson now. Excuse me, McGregor with the ball. McNeil sends that to Patterson. Down low for St. Catharines. McNeil taking a shot hard enough that he knocks the stick right out of Gavin Downs' hands. And St. Catharines in Owen Sound battling for this one. Owen Sound's gonna pick it up and it's gonna be knocked right out of the paddle of Thompson. St. Catharines transitioning up the floor, taking their time. They're gonna need to move the ball quickly here. And being checked into the offensive zone there is Jekylls. Sends that across. Armitage in the slot looking for a pass. Back up to Jekylls. St. Catharines happy to run this game out. And Owen Sound now with the ball. Gonna send that to Noah Hemstock, who we interviewed there in the second intermission. Sound here looking to make something happen. That's going to get picked off there from St. Catharines. Knocked towards the Owen Sound zone, and they're going to run out of time with the shot clock. So they're, they'll send that back into the St. Catharines zone with just 46 seconds of play left. So they're going to probably run this out. St. Catharines not necessarily looking to run the score up anymore with a few seconds left. So they're gonna resort to passing back and forth up high here in the offensive zone. Back and forth goes Walters and he's gonna just lob that one into Hellier who picks that up. And Owen Sound, 10 seconds left. Looks like they're also going to hold on to this and we're going to end this game here this afternoon. St. Catharines Athletics 11, Owen Sound North Stars 2. Great plays on both ends. Mike Napoli coming up strong here at the end of the game for the Athletics. Beaten twice and his five hole locked down. Owen Sound seemed locked in on on that spot and just unable to find something. Yeah, I think, you know, it's unfortunate. Only Sound just lacks uh, you know, a lot of experience up front with some offensive savvy and uh, it's uh, it's uh, not looking for the holes, looking for where they think can go, so. Both teams here lining up for a handshake and goalies congratulating each other on a hard fought battle.
at the end of the day, these are two hardworking teams that battle till the till the very end, and sometimes tempers boil over, but that's all part of good, healthy competition. Well, we're back up here in the booth. A uh, couple of hat tricks there on the side of St. Catharines, Patterson and Parker, both picking up uh, multiple goals this game. And yep, they both uh, they both had strong uh, strong games and a lot of scoring opportunities for the both of them. And you know, each found uh, home three times. It wasn't for Hellier; there could have been a, a little uglier. Hellier looking strong in that game. Really, a couple of issues, maybe moving side to side, but tested a couple of more times that same way and and able to come up strong. Yeah, he, he certainly, uh, you know, shook off that first shot that went in on him and he looked uh, real strong the rest of the first period. He had, you know, anytime he let 11 in, you might have won uh, one or two back, but no, the, this, uh, he certainly acquitted himself very well. Absolutely, uh, both goalies playing well. A uh, little bit of tempers there at the end. Make anything of that? You think no. there's bad blood between these teams? They'll move no, on. I, I think it was just, uh, you know, again, you've got, uh, Guys that are frustrated after starting the season again with a win and a really good performance against Six Nations and a, a, apparently a good performance against Allure and now dropping a couple of real bad ones and a lot of regression in their play. I'm sure it's taken their toll and, uh, you know, they were looking for a little pound of flesh, a little retaliation and, you know, move on to next weekend where they get an opportunity to pick up a couple wins. Well, I'm sure lots to go over here. Head coach, uh, head coach Cochran looking to probably make a couple of changes here looking for uh, maybe a spark of life there was some life there at the end for sure they they had something but maybe looking to change the the result of those first two periods yeah again i think it just comes down to a lot of its repetition and uh, making sure guys get to practice and work on things that the coaching staff really wants to uh, you know hone in on and, and certainly the offense uh, you're not going to get by at this level or, or anything above this level on on talent alone you have to have a game plan you have to execute, and uh, it hasn't been there the last couple games, and hopefully they can get back on track. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the North Stars are going to be on the road the next uh, week, so you won't uh, be joining us, but we will join you again in a couple of weeks. So we'll, uh, we look forward to seeing you. We'll thank, uh, we want to thank Pizza Hut one more time here as well for providing the crew refreshments uh, here at the Bayshore Community Center. Uh, for those of us here at Rogers TV, we want to thank you for choosing us and, and watching your Owen Sound North Stars and the St. Catharines Athletics. We'll see you guys again in a couple of weeks. TV viewer response line. Email us or connect with us on social media. Yo. Yep. Okay, I'll be there.